This is a production of the Hardway HQ Podcasting Network. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Unfiltered here, HardwayHQ.com, via the Hardway HQ Podcasting Network. You can find this podcast through iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Spotify, iHeartRadio, the whole gamut of podcasting applications, as well as the aforementioned HardwayHQ.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok at HardwayHQ, Instagram at the HardwayHQ, so if there's any other one. Advertising concerns, hate mail, John at HardwayHQ.com. That's J O N at, don't actually write at, use the A with the circles around it. Cool gimmick, cool shtick, cool deal, baby. John at HardwayHQ.com. I'm John Harder here in the beautiful, luxurious HardwayHQ studios. Uh, bringing you this morning's unfiltered. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I didn't get to bed until about 3. <laughs> it's kind of my sleeping habits. It's what I do. I don't really sleep all that much. I was, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Probably up at 7.30. Just mosed around in bed. But uh, I didn't really sleep last night because I was still... Uh, I still had excitement running through me. Uh, I, I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, I wrote a blog a couple weeks ago. My first internet pay-per-view in 10 years. I did 3 o'clock... Saturday afternoon, Williamstown, New Jersey, at the H2O Wrestling Center for uh, Matt Tree, uh, for Matt Tremont's Wrestling uh, Center, the H2O Wrestling Center. But I did it for Stan Styles, Intergender Bonanza Number Nine, live on internet pay per view for IWTV. Um, you know, ten years ago, my last internet pay per view was WSU's uh, final event under Sean the Mick McCaffrey, and I stunk it out. And because of that night. I absolutely detested wrestling commentary. I slowly faded myself out. And uh, again, my mindset was incredibly emotionally immature, very um, self-serving. And I, I self-sabotaged myself in many ways. A lot of factors played into that. And I thought, you know, my wrestling career as a commentator or whatever was done. And Stan Styles came to me. In the beginning of 2020 and said look i'm looking for a commentator do you want to come do it if you want to try out for it just come have some fun and that's for the intergender rumble for the first ever super championship which ray lynn won and i had a blast doing it stance that he liked it so he's like you want to continue doing commentary for these shows and i accepted and over the next several shows i did them live and i did post-production here at hardway hq studios uh for stan and uh chondo uh, the great Chandita, I think. I think that's his cousin. But Chando and Stan, they liked what I was doing, and I felt I wasn't still feeling it, wasn't still feel confident in myself. So I just kept the grind going, and I didn't know if I really had it in me anymore to be a good commentator. And then last month, Stan goes, we're doing the extra commute birthday, uh, the Intergender Bonanza 9, live on internet pay-per-view for IWTV, which to me... Great crew, great group of guys, um, you know, professionalism at its finest. And I was very nervous. I was very nervous. Stan, like, I want you to be there for it. Because my play was going to do everything through post-production. And Stan goes, no, we're doing a live here. I want you to come in and do it. And as respect for Stan, we're doing Project Diver Diverge for me a few years ago. Um, and knowing him forever, there's no doubt in my mind I would I would not not do the show. So I went. And thankfully, the broadcast colleague, uh, Nick Grand, um, should be Grande, because the E at the end, uh, very solid young man I'm working with, uh, very good talent, and um, the closest thing I ever had to working with a color commentator since uh, classic Mikey D, who was my ace color commentator for many years, and just a great guy, and working with Nick, he seemed like a very solid dude. And of course, I'm very awkward, very... Uh, anti-social when it comes to settings where I don't really know everybody and he was really cool really understanding and I just kept quiet I just was taking it in because I never really took it in when I was younger about to go do internet pay-per-view and then the intergender bonanza number nine happens and I just I turn it up to an 11 mic goes on and I just go nuts and <clears throat> I was able to able to have a lot of fun nick was an easy person to bounce off of just watching the action a lot of underrated talent in that bonanza locker room over the years a lot of turnover but you understand there's also a lot of talent that have other things to do and you know they always come back to the bonanza and 
Number nine happens and Stan Styles, that evil bastard, betrays the world. But you gotta watch IGB nine. You gotta you gotta watch an uh, an independent wrestling TV. But the point is, I gave up myself all those years ago, thinking my commentary was eh, I wasn't doing I wasn't gonna do it anymore. Commentary commentary was broke my heart, and I didn't know if I had it in me anymore to do anything more. And maybe I did. Maybe I did. So, uh, Stan, thank you so much for believing in me when I definitely didn't, especially as a commentator. Uh, and just thank you for allowing me to do the Bonanza. And more importantly, uh, thanks to Nick for doing a great job. I have too many Nicks that I work with. But the moral of the story is this. When you doubt yourself, when you don't believe in yourself, and you think, I, I had my chances when I was 25 years old, just remember... It's a long, it's a long life and a long time. And thankfully and respectfully, I was able to come back 10 years later to internet pay-per-view once again. And I'm grateful that I did. And I'm grateful I did it for Stan because if I didn't, I don't, I don't think I'd ever have tried it again. And I don't think I would have ever gotten some more of my confidence back as a broadcaster and a co commentator. So, my hat's off to you, Mr. Stan Stiles, even though you were an evil man, secretly deep down, you bitter prick. And thank you to thank you to everybody for, for tuning in. And no, that was not me wiping away a tear. I have five boogers. <laughs> but, again, for anyone who wants to catch the replay, go to IWTV.live, Independent Wrestling TV, to watch the Energy Bonanza. And um, I have my confidence back. So thank you, Stan. I appreciate it a lot. And thank you for listening to Unfiltered. I'm John Harder. HardwayHQ.com.